The film that we're making is a gritty neo-noir thriller. There's sort of a darkness to this reality. It's cold, it's visceral. I really want the viewer to feel what the protagonist is feeling. Part of the uncomfortable thing for Roy though is his memory loss is, is complete. But he's seeing everything fresh, so he's seeing characters from his past who have very clear and specific memories of him and he has no memory of them. Having Russell Crowe, you know, as our lead, I mean, really, we're kind of spoiled. When he's on set, he's an absolute delight and the ultimate professional. He loved the script, he liked all the twists and turns, but I think what he was really drawn to was this uh, idea that he could kind of disappear into a character that he's never played before, this cop who has Alzheimer's, this man who is struggling to make sense of who he is and sort of peeling back all the layers of that character's past. So working with Russell is amazing. I mean, like, I feel like I've already learned more about screen acting just, just from being in a scene with him and watching him. I mean, you act with him for five minutes and you're like, oh, that's why you're like a legend movie star. Like, you have that thing. I'm working for Russell. Me and Russell went together, what, 20-something years ago on Gladiator. Russell, he's incredible, you know? He's just incredible. He just brings, you know, such a deep well of experience and inherent acting talent to the part. There's a lovely, respectful collaboration, and we talk and exchange ideas so that by the time you arrive in front of the camera, you still have that lovely exchange of energy and ideas within the context of the story. It's been a great experience working with the other cast members. Karen Gillan. She is um, so exceptionally talented, really exciting. Karen has been absolutely amazing to work with and she's thrown every ounce of her being into this role. It's been like so much fun. I play Laura Baines in Sleeping Dogs and she is a psychology student. In short, Laura Baines is a name that comes back into Roy's life. He has no memory of that person, but over time realizes that that person definitely has a memory of him. Karen is phenomenal, and I love working with her. She has a very ethereal kind of quality, Karen, you know? And then working with Marton, who plays Professor Reader, is he's so good, he's so good. Marton Chokas as Joe Weeder. The sensibility that he's brought to the character is so much more three-dimensional than someone who's just the smartest guy in the room, the handsome womanizer. I've been a big fan of Marton for years. He, it just like, embodies that character in such a special way and makes him so charming and likeable. He's brought his A-game to this. Tommy Flanagan, big fan of Tommy. Well, Russell hit me up before Christmas. It's Flanagan, got a script, read it. Tell me if you love it. And I said, yep, love it. Okay, see you in Melbourne. Oh, done. Working with Tommy was fantastic. You know, it's just, it's just joyful. You know, in 1999, he played Cicero in Gladiator. Remus is Roy's 30-year partner, friend. I think he's desperate for anything. And then when Roy shows up, it's a shock and a horror. And... You needed someone who you knew was going to have really good chemistry with Russell. And we had seen 20 years ago, him and Russell on the screen in Gladiator. It just kind of made sense. It was really a no-brainer. His attention to detail is yeah, amazing. He's brilliant. Thomas Wright and Harry Greenwood, what a boon for the film to get actors of that caliber to play these parts. I always feel like when you approach something with an open mind and you give everybody permission to bring their ideas to the table, you end up with something much better than if you yourself had just come in with a singular idea or some preconceived notions about it. So it's really just been really a great, great working environment. They're just all just wonderful actors. I hope that this movie is, people will enter into a dream. And so you're constantly led into different worlds and different perceptions. My hope is that after an audience sees this film, they walk out and they go, holy f I didn't see that coming. <laughs>